Ah, oh, hello, gentlemen. Come on in. Close the door behind you. I thought it was uh, better if we met in private today. I got the feeling when you called that this was important. Yes, it is. Robert Scorpio asked me to call you. He wants you, the Green Shirts, to help us in a very important mission. What kind of mission? It's a rescue mission. There's a man in the Asian quarter that's being threatened by Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu? You could be talking about any one of a hundred men. Yes, I could, but I'm not. I'm talking about one in particular. Mr. Wu is going to kill Frisco Jones in less than 24 hours if we don't get him out of the quarter. Well, we've heard about the trouble that Frisco's been having. Will you help us? To get Frisco away from Wu? Just tell us where he is. Well, I don't actually know, but Scorpio does, and he'll be back shortly. Now, before you enter into this, I must just warn you that it's going to be dangerous. Well, we've gone against Wu's men before. This could be different. We're not worried. All right. Now, I've noticed that they're using a different technique, a, a, a two-arm takedown, and I would like to just go over that with you, kind of non-contact, we can just spar for a bit. If you can move okay. the furniture. Sure, let's move the furniture. Um, it's a little bit different than the techniques that we're used to, so I wonder if we could just do it perhaps a few times. All right. So... Come at me. All of us? Yeah. Okay. Now. She's right. It is a new move. Sorry if I hurt you. It's just that, um, come, it, it, so what, what, if I punch, okay? Okay. And the, oh, that's right. Very good. <laughs> All right. Try once more. Okay. Ah! 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 Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Don't worry. Look, don't worry, darling. I'm fine. Mr. Delaney, I'm sure this is going to be... Mr. Delaney, I'm all right. Oh. It's all right, Mr. Delaney. There's no trouble at all. These are our friends. Hi, Look, I'm just outside if you need me. Yeah, okay. Well, what is going on here? Um, hmm. Philomena, uh, look, these are friends of ours. These are the green shirts. Please, I'd like you to meet them. Come in. Oh, I remember. They played the game with me and Frisco. That's right. Well, you see, they're going to help us with another game. But we're just practicing right now. Can we watch? Oh, yeah, you can watch. As long as you're very good and you don't get in the way, because I don't want you hurt. <laughs> okay, right. I promise I will. Okay, okay go on. Let's just try it again. Why don't you each try for yourself and stuff? Okay. Like you want to take your hand off, but you just punch me back. Okay, so you block with this hand, and then again, and you block with this hand, and you're going to bend that side. And if you really push this arm around the other, it pushes you around. Oh, oh hello, Robert. Oh, Robert, you missed the practice. Was it a good one? It was. Sure. Yeah? yeah. Uh, well, uh, listen, Chen, I want to thank you guys for coming here. I trust that Anna has uh, filled you in on the plan. Yes, we're honored that you asked for our help. Yeah, well, tell me what it's all about. Why are you wearing those funny clothes, Robbie? Is it part of the game? That's right. And how was your day at the hospital? Oh, it was fun. I met, I met some new friends, too. But when can I go to school? Soon, darling. I promise you. Hey, Bambina, you don't have no lunch yet, eh? Didn't you eat at the hospital? No, she was too busy playing with the children. <laughs> Robbie, will you have lunch with me? I certainly will if I can find the time. I, always, I try to give him to eat, but he's too skinny. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think you should go and get your lunch. Now. I go think on. so, too. Don't go anywhere till you eat. Right on, darling. <laughs> well, did you get a fix on Frisco? Uh, yeah, he's staying in an apartment with an old woman named Olin, uh, right around the corner from the Bamboo Bar. You guys uh -huh. know where that is? Yes, I know Olin. She has a grandson, uh, Suki. Uh -huh. That's right, he wants to be a green shirt. We know exactly where it is. When do we move? Well, why don't you go to the karate school and then I'll call you when it's time. Okay, we'll wait for your call and we'll be ready. All right. Uh, Chen, listen, did Anna explain the danger? Like I said, we're ready, Commissioner. Mr. Wu won't get his hands on Frisco. I appreciate your help. We'll be careful. And don't worry about Frisco. We'll get him out. I've got every confidence in you. Uh, listen, I think, uh, as things stand, it would be safer if you left by the secret entrance here. 
Okay. See you later. Bye bye. Thanks a lot. Well, I see you gave them a workout. Yes, I, I thought it was a good idea for them to warm up. It was a good idea. So how's Frisco? Well, no visible signs of wear and tear on him, but as we suspected, he won't leave the quarter. What is it? Is he suicidal or something? He's determined to stay on the ground till he gets more information on Kim's murder of Josh. My gut feeling tells me that when the green shirts turn up, he's going to be ready to move. Now, what's going to happen when Wu discovers that, that those pearls are phonies? Well, I think it's something. That's not good enough. Don't you have a plan? Have you ever known me not to have a plan? Oh, come on, Robert. Look, it's no time to be, to be funny. <sighs> Look, Anna, I am deadly serious. Now, Wu was going to regret the day he ever threatened our child. Now, do you have the pearls? Yes. Right. Now, hopefully, the appraisal will take quite a bit of time. Or Frisco's life isn't going to be worth the price I paid for those things. Hey, hey this hot or what, Frisco? Did you take this group? Yeah, they're hot. Now, what about finding me a place, Suki? Man, I said it was not easy. Look, anyway... You don't need it anyway, because Scorpio said the green shirt's gonna take you out. Look, I heard what Scorpio said, but I want to find a place anyway, just in case. Just in case what? In case I decide to come back. Hey, dude, don't be talking crazy, man. Your head is on a chopping block if you come back here. If you ever get out of here. I'll get out of here. And I'll come back. You see, you have your dream. But I have mine. And I'm going to nail Kim for killing my best friend. I got your message to me. You said it was urgent? Yes, can you hear me? Uh-huh. We must be very careful coming down here from now on. Your eyes and ears everywhere. You like? Uh, yeah, it's very nice. But I'm actually, I'm just window shopping today. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Better you don't talk, just listen. You and Yank are right about my brother. He's no longer my brother. Tell Robert Scorpio that I'll help him any way I can. I'm afraid I have some bad news. What? I just had a report from the green shirts that Wu's run out of patience and time. It's all over the quarter that Kim and Sean Donnelly have been ordered to move up the execution of Frisco Jones. Frisco, I think I found a safe hideout for hey, me, man. Hey, great. You two dudes had better split fast. Let's go, right? You take it easy, okay? Oh, see you later, Grandma. Hey, get back. Hey, hey, what's happening, man? Oh, and Suki, get out of here. Hey. Now, we may uh, need your place for a little while. Rest of the day, huh? All day? Hey, no, man. I got a job to do. No I got way, a man. deadline. This will take care of you. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, hey, man? Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, you know what, Beth? What the hell's the matter with you? I give the orders around here. Get out! All right, Kim, will you just cool out? Come on. Time is up, Frisco. Your friends didn't deliver the pearls. Sorry, buddy. Orders are orders. Uh, 
Grandmother? Yes? How long till we continue to keep our faces to the wall, huh? No more patience. Is that right? What did it say sometimes? The patience masks fear, Grandmother. Hey, Frisco told us to do nothing. Suki, you are my only living relative. Let Robert Scorpio save Frisco. Now, come on, let's go.